<laughs> All right, thanks so much for coming out. Uh, if you guys did not know, we are the new RXP Morning Crew. This is Chris Austin, so uh, he just joined us this week. Good week. Yeah, great week. <laughs> so, and welcome to the official RXP sound stage. And uh, so thank you so much for listening and everything. We're going to kick it off with a couple of questions and then get right into the tune. So, um, go ahead. You talk okay. <laughs> well, Mike, uh, big fan of yours. So thank, thank you so you. much for oh, coming. Thanks for having me. Um, I know that crowdfunding has helped out with a lot of the soloness sure. um, the past few years. Sure. Do you feel like crowdfunding projects are going to become a new thing with bringing concerts to town, starting albums, all of that fun yeah, stuff? Yeah, absolutely I do. I mean, it's, it's the, the term that they've been using uh, is direct to fan. You know, they've rather than they've sort of gone beyond the crowdfunding phase of just, you know, help me yeah. make this record to a thing where, you know, people really feel like they're directly involved in a show or an album or a song or whatever it is. But yeah, I, th I mean, not just because I'm doing great with it, but I really think it is, it, it's, there's a lot of, the, the, the future's really in that. And like labels will be slowly going away or do you, you feel like it's going to be i mean i think you know I, I think you can do that stuff in conjunction with a label i mean i i have my own little label and i'm cool with that but um <laughs> you know i don't uh i don't know i mean it obviously things are changing in a big way mm -hmm. yeah absolutely uh, thanks again for coming. Oh, you're so <laughs> and, welcome. Yeah, and uh, I'm actually I'm reading your book, your memoir, oh, cool. uh, Book you. of Drugs, which if you haven't checked it out yet, it's uh, it's awesome. Uh, well, it's Page you. Turner for sure. Um, and as, as somebody who's dealt with addiction problems mm -hmm. myself, uh, one of the things I was thinking is just how has sobriety affected your approach to music, how you I, make music? I mean, it's just my the focus of my entire life is making music, basically. Um, you know, it's ta it's given me back the rest of my day and the rest of my life. And, um, you know, I'm just basically thinking about writing songs, writing in general all the time. So, yeah. I mean, a huge effect. Absolutely. So are you already working on your next project then? Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, actually, yeah, I'm always, I mean, by the, by the time I put out an album, you know, I'm already halfway into whatever the next album is. And it's, so we were listening this morning uh, about your stripper name. Your stripper <laughs> name. <laughs> I didn't know we were really good. I, th I was just joking about that question. <laughs> my my uh, my stripper name is Corky Twenty Third Street Terrace, <laughs> which That's obviously a lot of success in in the porn industry. That is so hot. Yeah, that totally. is so hot. Totally. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again for coming, oh, and so uh, everybody, uh, put your hands together for Mike Doty. Thanks.